got sunglasses for Oh, thank you. These are great. Yes, that's right. Professor Gordon Wallace is one of the world leaders in the development of organic bionics. All these great machines. He's overseeing the creation of new methods of replacing and repairing human body tissues. The ability to create these things we couldn't create before not only improves medical treatments, yes. it enables medical treatments that we couldn't imagine before. A prime example is this new surgical tool that can actually create bone cartilage. So the biopen is actually a handheld 3D printing device. It enables the surgeon to, to print directly into a defect in the knee in this case. This pen prints a gel laden with stem cells. They're one of the most exciting areas of biology because they can divide and become almost any cell in your body. What sort of conditions do you think that this biopen is actually going to help with? Of sports injuries mm -hmm. and uh, particularly injuries in, in younger people, whether mm -hmm. that's through sports or trauma. It can also help to slow the development of arthritis. What other biological printers and pens are you working on? Uh, so working with the Sydney Eye Bank, we've started to look at corneal regeneration. This pen repairs damage to the eye caused by ulcers. When I was a junior doctor, I used to work in the emergency departments and we'd have people come, come and see us with, with ulcers in their eyes. We would just give them eye drops. But down the track, would someone else in that position be able to have the, the bio-ink immediately put onto their eye? Yes, uh, that, that is definitely the, the vision for this application, is to, uh, to be able to use it uh, in emergency rooms. Are we preventing blindness? Uh, in, in a lot of the developing countries where this is not treated at all, mm -hmm. uh, I think that's correct. I feel I'm getting a real glimpse into the future here. There are a lot of ears here. <laughs> the ear is complex. It goes from soft to quite stiff, back to soft again. And yeah. how, how do we replicate that with 3D printing? Mm -hmm. These prototypes, designed for children born without an external ear, are a complex marriage of stem cells, biogels and scaffolds that might be a blueprint for a living ear. How soon do you think we will be seeing this technology available in our hospitals? The reason we're building these customised printers is not for them to stay here. Uh, the biopen is at St Vincent's Hospital. Wow. Uh, this printer will be at the Royal Prince Alfred. Uh, the iFix pen is at the Sydney Eye Bank. And we really are using bionic principles in order to take these advances into patients uh, mm -hmm. very quickly. I've always thought bionics was about mechanics and electronics. But I'm realising the next wave will be driven by this kind of science and it's infinitely more adaptable.